My name is Darren Barnett, and I play Paxton Hall Yoshida in Never Have I Ever, and this is my take five. My favorite movie genre is suspense, thriller, something kind of psychosomatic with a twist at the end. Um, Fight Club is my favorite movie of all time. First rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. I just love movies that take you on a ride and then completely flip your world upside down at the end with a twist, something that just you can't predict. Those are the ones I want to make. Something that completely just takes your mind and makes it go. Everything's gonna be fun. <laughs> what TV high school would you like to have gone to? I don't know if this is technically a TV high school because it's a movie, but I'd say Rydell High School from Greece. So this is Rydell. <laughs> You'll love it. Love the 50s, love that era, love the Grease Lightning and all the cars. I definitely would have been a greaser. I think I would have given Danny Zuko a run for his money. <laughs> Some of these TV high schools like Riverdale and 13 Reasons Why, there's so much drama going on. It's so stressful. So Rydell, they're all dancing around, having a good time and singing to each other. So I'm gonna pick Rydell. Well, I could be Grease Lightning. Grease Lightning. Maybe don't put that last part in there. My favorite on-screen jock, Chris Evans in Not Another Teen Movie. That's just way too much information. I love how he just plays into the stereotypes of being a jock, like when he's denied by the school hottie, he's, she's, he's like, how could you deny me? Jake, wow. It's just so funny how they play into the stereotypes and uh, he's hilarious and he's freaking Captain America. Son, just don't. I hold a California real estate license. So what is your favorite house in any movie? I'm gonna go with Tony Stark, Iron Man. Wake up, daddy show him. Welcome home, son. That house overlooking the beach on that cliff is brilliant, but his house is basically a robot that can make him breakfast in the morning if he wants it. I mean, who doesn't want that, right? Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off, what are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. What surprised you most during the making of Never Have I Ever? Uh, what surprised me most was just how open to collaboration Mindy Kaling and Lang Fisher were. I've said this in interviews many times and Mindy is so seasoned in what she does and she could easily at every corner be like, no, I know the formula and how it works. This is gonna how, this is how we're gonna do it. She never was like that. She was always, if it doesn't feel right, let me know. If you wanna try something, let me know. It was an open playground. I'm down. You're on such a well-oiled machine and you think it has to be like A, B, C, D, E, F, G where it was actually kind of the alphabet all over the place. Something kind of like if I had to put it into words, which I, I won't do again because that was just strange. Anyways. Later, skater. What? So that was my take five. You can catch me in Never Have I Ever streaming now only on Netflix.